adding for me up. Do you want to be in a video? I'm like, yeah, yeah, cool, that'll be great. It's like, okay, um, are, are you aware of this band called Sabaton? I had to say like, oh, oh yes, I, I know them. We inside, I was like, fuck, yeah. Adam says, okay, I'll call you back, you know, if, if you're interested, I'll send you a sheet. And I was like watching my phone every minute of the tape to work, like, come on, come on, give me the call back, give me the call back. Around about six months ago, I had an initial chat with Pa, and he told me that they were covering a track by Motorhead, legendary band Motorhead. It tells the story all about how British forces lost 20,000 men um, within one day, the first day of Battle of the Somme. The cover, when I got it, it was just, it was amazing. It really did make you think about things. It's a privilege not only to work with Sabaton, and working with the guys from Motorhead, like Phil and Mickey, but more so about the story and about the human loss. The people behind the war effort thought was people are more likely to join the army if they could fight alongside their neighbours, their workmates, their relatives. What happened was they had all these recruitment drives, mainly in the north of England, but also in Cardiff and in Bristol and a little bit in the Midlands as well. In fact, what happened was that these people who they were never given any real training. They never had any battlefield experience. Uh, they weren't provided proper equipment. Some of them didn't, didn't even have rifles. And they were taking part in the biggest exercise in British history, and which ended up becoming the biggest slaughter. It, it's not only just being a British person, it was just the story of human sacrifice. It was a story about uh, brothers, about neighbors, about sons and fathers who all went to war together and all died on that day. I think ultimately I just really wanted to do justice to, to the subject matter and, in, and, in, and, and the people that did lose their lives. Yeah, we had a few meetings about the styles and like the areas of makeup, which was really interesting. Um, because I've never worked on a sort of period project before, so this is really interesting to do research into the differences between World War One and World War Two soldiers. They didn't have like bandages in World War One, so they've got more uh, muzzle and just dyed it in tea. Um, so I'm just going to put a load of like mud and blood on that once we've sort of tied it in knots because they didn't have safety pins. So it's just learning all. You think, oh yeah, they didn't actually have that. And just one day Adam contacted me and said, look, we've got this massive project, our biggest one to date, uh, with Sabaton 1916. Um, it's a motorhead cover, music video, uh, sounded really exciting. Uh, so, and I just, I jumped at the chance. <laughs> Right, um, guys, on this shot, all we're doing, hardest shot of the entire thing, all you're going to do is walk forward. That is, that is, hard. That is the hardest thing. Action! One, two, one, two! It's a pretty crazy job for, um, for this particular production. We've got three days three locations, about 20 crew I think, and uh, approximately 30 cast as well, so actors and actresses, as well as the band and all of their entourage, so there's a huge amount of people. And this is before we even get to the extras. Three locations, so day one, Black Country Living Museum, uh, day two we're out on the streets of Birmingham, and day three we're, we're in a, a no man's land set as well, so we've got three really challenging, cold <laughs> environments, and making sure that we can move our lighting equipment around from section to section to make sure we're kind of like whilst we're shooting one scene we're ahead of ourselves like ready for the next scene as well go one two action 
So the role I'm playing uh, through the video is a World War One captain, and we got we got sent a great brief uh, by Adam. You know, kind of the the importance of understanding the the role. We kind of got different pictures, different videos to look through. This by far is the biggest uh, adventure they've been on. Adam's always creating weird and wonderful worlds to be a part of, and it's always a pleasure to be asked to be a part of because, like I say, it's it's something that's always special when we work together. So many cast and crew that I know, but then obviously you meet loads of new people as well, especially on this particular shoot. My granddad fought in World War II, so kind of was really interested in, in doing the role, how important, you know, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. You know, probably over 100 years ago now, but it's still pretty raw, still pretty poignant, and these men and women that sacrificed their lives for us, um, it's, it's vital that we, we, we capture them in a way with respect. And even just walking down the, the cobbles then, um, as we would, would be coming home, it's, it's, um, it's somber. I mean, so far, really, the toughness has certainly been the weather, obviously the logistics of controlling a large amount of people. Um, but again, the enjoyment in that is the scale of the production. It's a huge deal for everyone involved and for Video Inc as a company. You know, working with clients such as Sabaton and Motorhead is massive, and the collaboration between those two bands for the production is massive in itself as well. So it's quite a lot of work in pre-production actually, we, we kind of have to make a schedule not just based on what we think but making sure that all of these different departments have the time to do what they've got, they've got to do before we can move on to a shot. Because with a production like this we've got so many different considerations before we can even press record. Drone shots are something that we've got to capture in all three of the days. So yeah, finding those moments to kind of go right, let's pause here, get the drone in and switching around the camera rigs is, is a, a massive logistical thing that we've, we've got up against us. I've been flying drones off and on for, for um, Adam and Ollie for about, about 10 years now. Um, I just get calls out of the blue from them every now and again when they need a hand for a day or two um, shooting and as you can see behind they're normally pretty interesting shoots, pretty epic shoots and it's always a, it's always a, it's always a great atmosphere on set as well. And being a veteran myself with the military, with this being you know, military heavy, this was quite an interesting one to get involved in, so of course I said yes. Well, what Adam and Ollie are often after for me is, is kind of establishing shots, and also some micro shots or some detailed shots that you just can't get from a jib or from any other angle. Um, sometimes they're straightforward, sometimes they're more complicated, and sometimes they kind of freelance it on set. Exciting to be back on a video ink set, so a lot of us as the freelance crew that kind of plug into productions like this. When we heard about this one, I think it's particularly exciting because it is just, I think the marriage of Sabaton and video ink is so perfect. I think one thing you'll find on a video ink shoot is that you're going to work really hard. You are going to work really hard. But nobody really minds because what we're doing is something incredible. Every time, every time we make something, and this especially, the vision is so compelling that you work, you, you put in the effort for it. It's tremendous fun working with, with, with Video Inc. And, and Sabaton. And we've developed a really good relationship with the band in the whole process. The majority of their videos are narrative uh, driven, which as an actor are great for me personally. And again, over the years, some of the characters I played for, for, for Adam and Video Inc. Has, have been great, you know, proper weird and wonderful characters. It's such an honour I always find, you know, I've been I've working with it for so long now, maybe eight, eight years, um, and every single time I had a message from saying you're free, I'm like, I'm never free, but I always make myself free, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, of course I am, because it just thought, you know, you're going to be here, you're going to have a good time. I think there's something special about being on a video ink set where, you know, every now and again we'll get this big crew together, um, we've all got our respective pursuits, as I say, all these different departments that have got such different jobs and we've got to work so well together. I think that keeping up that level of morale is, uh, is something different on a, on a video ink shoot because I think there's this level of uh, level of banter which I think so far seems to really marry up with the guys from Sabaton as well. I think we've got like a pretty good rapport from the R. Everybody's just super excited to be involved in it. Law, you can't take sort of yeah, it's given. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you see them whenever they're out, they're like... People who buzz off creating certain framings that 
that can stir emotions in the viewer and things like that. I mean, it, it might sound so um, esoterical that we're kind of we're, we're creating memories for people. That you know, you're watching something and we're trying to make it so that they feel like they could imagine themselves there. Um, so having such a big crew and everybody getting together and really trying to collaborate in a way that makes that happen. It's just so exciting. That's the best part of the job for me. I mean, I, I can I can shoot whatever you want. I, you know, I can work for whoever, whichever company. It doesn't mean that I will enjoy it. But this this was one of the projects that I genuinely have enjoyed in the past 15 years. It's probably one of the most enjoyable projects that I've worked on. As soon as I spoke to Par for the first time, uh, listened to the track, he had an idea of um, staging a march for these, for these fallen heroes. I took that, used it as a foundation, had an idea of why don't we travel back through time. So we started off in the 80s when the band get off the bus, uh, Joe Kim starts to perform, then we go back through 1916. And, um, and, and slowly but surely we, we see the soldiers who fought on no man's land. Then we moved into the late 30s, early 40s and brought in World War II. And the final part of the video, uh, which was so important to finish in, in the modern day, because it was about the world coming together to fight for what was right. Are you sure? Yeah? That's a wrap, everyone! So day two, we are in Birmingham City Centre. We're at the Room Bar, which is uh, in Digbeth, beautiful place. The first shot that we, we had to do um, was actually on a roof. Um, and obviously that took a, a bit of time to set up understandably. Um, it's hard enough doing it on the ground, never mind up, a, up on a roof. And, and that's gonna look, a, that's gonna be a great shot because it'll be able to kind of get the full scope of the march. And so yeah, that was that was a, a you know slow and steady start. But again, it's one of those, It's that's what happens. And to get those shots that you, know, you have to take your time with. Show, 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 I work behind a, a rock bar part time. Adam sent me an email saying, "Oh yeah, you're, you're on board for Sabaton 1916." I was like, "What on earth? Like what?" And I was telling everyone at work, like, "I've got an email saying I was going to be on, on Sabaton, which I don't know if I'm legally allowed to do." But uh, <laughs> yesterday came on and said that you know the covering a Motorhead song. I was like, "Well, oh, oh Christ!" You know what I mean? Like, and the Motorhead are going to be on set. It was just. Unbelievable, and um, they're all really nice. They're all, they're really, really, really nice, down to earth people. You know, they spend time sort of mingle with all the extras and all the other crew. Oh, no. Can, like, like, yeah, <laughs> again. <laughs> Action! And that's how it is for a a bit of a leap of faith we went on social media groups to assemble an army of, uh, of metalheads from Birmingham and Birmingham being the birthplace of metal didn't let us down I was a bit nervous going into today thinking that nobody would turn up because uh, we didn't contract anybody this is on their goodwill the goodwill of the metal community of Birmingham my heart was genuinely warmed and I shed a single tear uh, when I saw all these metalheads turning up of all different shapes and sizes and ages and everything. It was just so perfect. Joking, joking, could you put your head up slightly? It's just the, your reflect, the reflection of your glasses with the camera, you see. That's a good Easter egg. 
Yes, uh, yeah, so Sabaton is, is a band um, I've known for a while because I'm a bit of a history geek, so you know, they're going to follow you on your radar. I feel a little bit like I, I, I cheat in a bit because I've been cast as a 80s punk, which is uh, something really, really close to my heart. Um, it's, it's music and culture I'm part of. So a lot of my colleagues here uh, have had to act, and I don't feel like I'm acting. I'm just, Adam just says, just be you. Shit, isn't it? Okay, everyone ready? Okay. So I've got to give a really, really big shout out and a thank you from the bottom of my heart to everybody who turned up on that day to make it really, really special. This is the price you pay for being in the limelight at the front. You, you eat later. I mean, they were so engaged leading up to it. I was talking to lots of them via email. Some of them are now my friends on Facebook. Um, and, you know, they, they showed so much spirit and they had no idea who the band was going to be. They had no idea who the special guests were going to be. Um, but they came anyway because we promised them it would be worth it. And some of them met their heroes that day. Some of them met the drummer from Scorpions and Motorhead. You know, and to a metalhead, that's significant. That's something, you know. <laughs> Nobody got angry that it was, uh, wasn't Black Sabbath. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a wrap, everyone. Well done. So tomorrow, No Man's Land, day three, described by Adam as war. War in capital letters is what we're expecting, is what I'm excited for. I've built a lot of relationships whilst being here, so with friends and everyone seems so nice and friendly and everyone's here to help. Watching Adam and Ollie are just amazing. Ollie's very, I feel he's very meticulous and very like behind the scenes but also as important as Adam. But Adam's very vocal and very loud and very present. The on set we're playing World War One and World War Two soldiers. Off camera we're all like creating a brotherhood almost. Playing Private Lewis who I don't quote me, I believe was the youngest British soldier in the trenches. He signed up, I believe he was about 12 or 13, signed up saying he was older. So it's quite um, quite a big figure, significant figure uh, in sort of British history. It's been awesome uh, working with Sabaton. Never really heard about them before I got this, but I remember telling my brother about them uh, and he was he was jealous because he was quite he's quite big into this heavy metal sort of thing. Yeah, it's been great. The first, it's a three-day shoot. The first two days are uh, obviously done now, and they were a lot more simple than today. It was a lot of marching back and forth. Yeah, it's been pretty eye-opening seeing sort of what goes into making such a large video like this. And it's been by far the biggest day, by far the biggest thing I've probably done acting-wise, the most tasking. But yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Send okay. Earth down on it. Yeah, we've just above. done we've done that yeah. entire scene. Private Shunga screams from above his arm stretched out, you've done that. Private yeah. Lewis. Do you want to clean, mate? No, Do me a favour, rest that somewhere safe and then get me another American And some struggles weather. today have obviously been we're in a trench, so the mud is a massive issue. Guys with cameras are sinking into the mud, so we need to make sure that they're the priority, that they're not falling over anything, as it's obviously a very expensive equipment. And obviously everyone's health and safety is very important as well so everyone's looking out for each other also it's starting to get dark now we're in winter so we need to make sure we're using our time as quickly and efficiently as possible i think we're in our last sort of hour and a half now so i think we're just going to try and get our last couple of scenes in and then hopefully wrap completely so this, this is actually my first uh, my first music video so it's pretty amazing that a project this big has been able to be my my first experience of this the the guys have been have been so much fun i think we've we've formed perhaps a, a, a really solid group they're, they're a bit younger than me so i sort of feel like i'm i'm guiding them as at sometimes i will genuinely be quite sad at the end of the day when when we all separate there's there's definitely a sense of um camaraderie and which is perfect for the role really because you do feel like in some senses you're you're in a unit together, you know, you're eating, sleeping and working together all hours and stuff. And action! Um, I think working in film, you have these projects every now and then like, I love my job, but I particularly love music video and I think everybody feels the same. It's like this super collaborative 
creative exercise where music and film are coming together uh, because you become this like tight knit little little uh, community where you 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 work in to get the job done but have fun at the same time. And I think that's why what I really enjoy about videoing sets again, like we just have that level of camaraderie and banter. Day three on the shoot, we um, was probably the hardest day I'd say I think I've ever shot on you know any set ever. <laughs> A World War One no man's land had been created. Um, it was muddy. It was it was it was cold. It was wet. You had to have wellies on and working doing gimbal work in wellies in thick mud that was coming up over your ankles, with burning trees all around and smoke and yeah, it's exciting. Even thinking about it now, it's still it's still exciting me. People acting like they're in the war, but you know, really channeling their emotions and their feelings of how they maybe would have been there. It kind of just it, it bled into the crew. Everybody was kind of excited. Everyone had that jolt of enthusiasm, and it, I, I don't know. I just think everybody raised their game that third day. Film is without a doubt the greatest collaboration in art because it draws in all forms of art. Because it was such a big project, we had all these different departments communicating with each other. There's certain bits when I've, when I've been looking at my monitor uh, today and it just fills me with so much joy because not only are we creating these incredible images that really do the subject matter justice, but I can see all these people's work poured into it. Every single aspect on that screen that I'm seeing is, is all these different people from the lighting to the costume it's just spectacular.